Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Thursday episode of Good Morning Tottenham Away episode. I hope you guys are all well. I hope your family's all well. I hope you're all keeping well. For those of you travelling to Turkey this evening or this morning, whatever time it is in your time, in your part of the world, if you're travelling to Turkey to watch the game tonight, safe travel, guys, and be careful. Be careful, look after yourselves. But let's get into it, guys. Um, I was just... Just just now, reading the um, uh, some of the some of the headlines of leading up to today's game. This one's from Football London. Um, it goes something like this: uh, Spurs have travelled to Turkey to, for a tough game in what will be a hostile atmosphere at Rams Park in Istanbul. Believe that is going to be hostile. Galatasaray have hosts of stars in the squad, including Victor Osimhen and former Tottenham Davidson Sanchez. And of course, they've got Icardi, which I haven't mentioned. They sit at the top of the Turkish top flight. They sit at the top of the Turkish top flight with an unbeaten record and lie fifth in the big Europa League group table. So a team that's clearly doing really well in their league, and they're not doing too too bad in in um, in, uh, in 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 the uh, Europa League. Also, um, <clears throat> Spurs sit second in that table after three straight wins and Postacoglu would have been likely to rotate his squad for the game but injuries and illnesses are set to severely limit his options we are down to the bare bones essentially which is what we're talking about from the weekend obviously Richie unfortunately injured his hamstring so I'm still getting the final information what there's a football lot of London saying is final information but I think um, he's going to be out for a while uh, Romero, nothing too serious, hopefully, but he's not likely to play tonight. More so, if we can get him back, it'll be for the Ipswich game. Um, Timo Werner has been carrying a bit of a groin complaint, which is still there, so he didn't travel. Um, and Mikey Moore picked up a bit of a virus yesterday, so they've left him at home as well. I think everyone else who's fit and eligible, eligible to play is there. Postacol already has Mickey Van der Ven and Wilson Odebert out injured with hamstring problems and he has taken a number of young academy players to Turkey to bolster his weekend squad. Spurs welcome Ipswich Town in the Premier League in just two and a half days after they land back in the UK on Friday morning and Postacol will need fresh legs. Um, it's going to be really, really difficult given the premises that I've just read to you guys now um, to try and pick out who's going to be the starting eleven for tonight, and it's just not a question about putting eleven and which eleven they would be, but it's a tough game, guys. It's a hostile crowd, like we mentioned earlier, and it doesn't. But it doesn't give me guys the sensation. I'm going to go by sensation. I won't lie to you guys. Uh, my sensation is not. Yes, we're going to put a team out. Of course, we will. But that that are, are there real? Pre There's not really much premises to actually go and get a result. Um, given what we're just talking about now, how it's very difficult to to feel given they're top of the league of their in in their in, their, in the Turkish league. They're not too, too, doing too bad in Europa. It's a game that they're probably going to want to win at home in front of their fans as well and continue that their positive momentum. We're going there with literally a very thin squad. And if you start thinking, that, oh, well, we want to try and save, you know, save some legs for the weekend game, let's go what these guys here on Football.London, the team that they're going with... Um, they think that Fraser Foster will start on goal. Will start on goal. Pedro Porro right back. Dragusin and Davis will start centre backs. Left back will be Archie Archie Gray. In midfield, they've got down as Lucas Bergvall, Bissuma, and James Madison. Brennan Johnson on the right. Will Lankshire. They have down to start at front in the middle, and on the left wing we're going to have um, Hume Son. So. 
That's the team. I repeat it, guys, if you if you if you didn't catch that. Foster and Gold, Pedro Polo, Dragusin, Davis, and Archie Gray at the back. Midfield with Bergvall, Bissuma, and Madison. Brennan Johnson, Langshire, and Son up top. So it's a 4-3-3. Um, I don't know, upon listening to that, how you guys feel. Like I said, it's a decent team, but the number nine, obviously, Richarlison picked up an injury as, as kind of... As you know, we we have to give Solanke a breather, I suppose, and he, for sure he can come on as a sub um, after the hour mark. My thinking is, but Langshire is set to start. Um, Archie Gray at left back and Bergvall in midfield are the the the, the, the youngest uh, of our players coming into the team. Guys, um, like I said, the, the games are coming thick and fast, and and and, and the squad obviously we we're getting a bit battered at the moment with the injuries, but. This is why you have to beefing up the squad. This is what my part, my criticism comes from the fact that we already knew that we were going to have more games this season. We was going to always have the Premier League games, but we've we've we've, we've now added the Europa League games. Then, if you think we've got the EFL games, the FA Cup games will be coming up. There's a lot more games than we did last season. What do we do to prepare for that? Yeah, you have to, you can't help injuries, but injuries are also part of football. So these things will happen. But when you start losing two or three of your best pieces in the squad and you replace them with what we have, this is the situation we find ourselves in. And that's, you know, that you know, you think we shouldn't be discarding these sort of games because they're important games. We've worked all hard all season to get into Europe to then say, you know what, sod that, let's go for, you know, focus on the Ipswich game. Why, guys? Why? We should be having players, be a squad big enough to be able to take both games serious, not dismiss one when the other, when you've worked all season to get into Europe. I don't know, guys. Um, I'd be interested to know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you smash a like to the video. Subscribe if you haven't really done so. Let me know your thoughts upon hearing what I've just said about uh, the team and the possible starting eleven tonight. The injuries and the squad, and, and 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 you know, what do we do? Do we do we just discard this game and just focus on Ipswich, or do we say, do you know what, play the best team possible? Although we haven't got really a lot of choices, we have to go with that team, and then and then we Ipswich will worry about that in two and a half days. Incredibly, two and a half days before we kick off again against Ipswich. Your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, forever always, it's come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Top them away. When we got top them away. Top them away. When we got top them away.